John, Warrington this weekend, uh, the penultimate game of the Super 8s, do you think that you'll get anything out of that? Uh, hopefully, yeah, I think we've got we've got better um, since obviously the uh, poor performance at Witness, we've got better each week and um, you know, our, our systems are starting to work a little bit more and um, you know, the boys are going to grips with what we want to do, so um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the game. Obviously, it's our last game of the season, um, and it'll be, obviously be in front of a big crowd. And obviously, um, the, the boys were um, all speaking about the, the fans that I flew over again to Catalan last week after um, a few weeks ago going to Toulouse. So you know that it really um, helped the boys, and, and the boys love that. So um, we'll be doing all we can to get a result for them this week. But, uh, yeah, I think we're getting better attacking wise and defensively. We coping with these Super League sides but there's still a lot of errors and penalties we need to cut out and ourselves, individual errors but other than that I think we're coping quite well Yeah, really looking forward to be back out on the field um, obviously it's going to be a big challenge for us uh, going up against Warrington who have already, already secured the Super League states for next year so yeah, we're looking forward to it and um, we're going to put a good week's preparation into place so. Yeah, I think we're uh, building well after uh, OK, I know we haven't won a game like last well since well, eights have started but I think we're building really well since Witness game. We were poor that day, but since uh, then, when OK, we've played well and Catalan were lucky not to come away a win, I think. Yeah. And like you say, it is the last home game of the season. Warrington have sold quite a lot of tickets as well, so they'll be bringing a big crowd. They'll be celebrating staying in Super League, no doubt. Uh, but if we can get lots of home fans, it will create a cauldron of atmosphere. Yeah, hopefully they've been celebrating since last week and, uh, you know, they uh, changed the squad hopefully a little bit for us. But, uh, no, yeah, it's uh, obviously a big one for the fans as well and um, as, as many of our fans that can get down, you know, please get down and, and watch the boys in the last game, home game of the year. Um, I'm, I'm sure it'll be a good game. Yeah, it's always good playing in front of a, a big crowd. It does create an atmosphere, like you say, and it'll be good. It's last home game of the season if everybody can get down in numbers and just support us. Yeah, it's a brilliant atmosphere down here when the, all the stands are full, just like it was at OKR. And obviously, Warrington's a massive club with a huge fan base, so to have all them down here is going to be great at the weekend, and it's it's going to be a great occasion for us. Yeah, we're hoping for a full house, really. M a massive game for us, and it's a last home game at season, so it'll be nice to finish off with a full house, yeah. Are you expecting that Tony Smith will change the squad around a little bit then? No, I don't think so. I'm just hoping so. <laughs> uh, but, you know, they, they've still got quality to come in if he, if he doesn't play anyone. But we just concentrate on us trying to get our roles right and trying to get our game plan boxed off and, and better last week. Um, you know, we had a right dig over in, in France over there and a new experience for most of us doing the trip in a day. So uh, another good experience boxed off and um, we're just looking forward to our last home game now. I don't I don't think the lead's off of any. I don't think the lead's off any at all. I think, uh, I think they'll put a strong side out and be a good game, a good tough game. They've got some good internationals, so should be a good game. Well, uh, there's two ways of looking at it. Really, there's either they've got nothing to play for, or they've got no pressure on them at all. Really, so um, I think they've got two games left of their season to go. They're just going to probably play a bit flamboyant and throw the ball about a little bit on us. So we've got to be prepared for that and uh, hopefully defend it well. Yeah, definitely. We're hoping that uh, we'll get it this week, but if not, we're definitely going to have to get one at uh, Halifax. It's going to be a massive game both weeks for us now. We've got two games left, we've got everything to give. And like you say, improving week on week, are you looking to make any major changes to the squad that went down to Catalan? Uh, well, we've lost um, Frankie. Um, to a neck injury with that high shot he got um, in the back end of the game. So, but we've got Griffin, hopefully Richie Moore back this week. So, you know, two big players for, for us coming back in, which is superb. And um, we we'll look forward to, to them putting the shirt back on. And um, I'm, I'm sure they miss playing. Uh, if we complete a set, some like I say, we knock them errors and individual skill errors on head and penalties, and I think we might have a chance here. Well, that's what we're building towards. Hopefully, it, we will get that in one of the next two games, or maybe both of them. But um, yeah, I think we have steadily improved as the qualifiers have gone on. Um, been a bit unfortunate here in the early games not to be a little bit closer, but yeah, I think we're improving week on week. Um, and you've uh, got a special air style for this Sunday as well, haven't you? So uh, hopefully, the sun will be out, not too cold. Yeah, hopefully, uh, equal me tan out on top of my head. Yeah, it's uh, not my best look, but can can live with it for a few weeks. You want to tell us uh, the story behind the haircut, Josh? Yeah, I uh, slept in before Catalan game and uh, nearly missed bus, so here I am. Yeah.